Well, fire departments across the state are facing a staffing shortage. Dozens of trainees were put to the test today to fill the ranks. Fox 6's Stephanie Quirk joins us now with this firefighter shortage. Yeah, well, Gabby, about 50 aspiring firefighters and EMS workers took on a variety of challenges to get certified this morning. But many say while the work is increasing, the staff is not. As a firefighter or paramedic, work keeps you busy. Very busy. A lot of moving pieces at once. On top of the risks and challenges EMS workers like Bailey Reza face day to day. Early on three departments, uh, stretching myself to try and fill roles for communities. Departments with fewer staff members are putting out more fires. When I started, when you competed against hundreds of people to get a job, now you're lucky if you can get dozens of people to take out an application and apply for these jobs. And unfortunately, we don't have people banging down doors anymore to get into the fire service. According to a 2023 report from the Wisconsin Office of Rural Health, nearly 80% of EMS agencies were called to cover an emergency in a neighboring community. And more than 40% of departments reported not enough staff to even respond to a call. So when the ambulance doesn't get out the door and you're taking from other communities. It's part of the reason why Reza says she wanted to be a firefighter. The inspiration to keep going is to make sure that I can fill those roles and hopefully encourage others to fill those roles. Saturday, she and dozens of trainees were put to the test in Kansasville to become a officially certified. I think once people get a chance to experience what these students are experiencing in their training, it becomes addictive. Fire coordinator John Dom says his hope is that more people will step up and see how rewarding it is. This becomes a, I really want to spend my life doing this. And many fire departments will actually sponsor people interested in getting certified as an EMT, paramedic, or firefighter.